Hey there, finale room. Oh ho! Oh, good job, security bot. All right, we might die right here. <laughs> security bot got the jump on me. Good old tertiary security room. Um, speed seventy-five is probably what's going to kill me right here. So there's nearly not anything I can do other than just try to run. If I can get two spaces away, I'm safe. If he shoots me in the next space, then we're dead. And with 75 speed, we're probably going to get shot to death. Not a big surprise. <laughs> uh, I got no special get-out-of-jail-free situations here. The uh, fungus thing, uh, I don't think we'll do anything against this guy. Yeah, there's absolutely nothing I can do beyond uh, just trying to take a step. Nah. I can't punch it hard enough to kill it in one hit. I won't get enough damage through the armor. So there's no chance of me punching it down. Pulling the pin on the grenade is one option. I could take a Gorman, but there's a small, small chance I can still survive this. If he shoots me in the face... Where I've got 50 points of protection, maybe we can survive it. If he goes for the torso, that's going to be a lot more questionable. I've got like 30 points of protection there. So we're not dead yet. I'm not going to do a Gorman. I'm not going to pull the grenade on this one because I think we might have a chance of getting out of it still. So... Plus, I don't know what the toughness benefit from the myconoids is adding to my my armor values. So, here's the armor values. The other key. So, we're looking at on torso. Flame resistance suit, 2 for both bash and cut at 100%. Kevlar vest is 85%. So, if he hits me in the torso and he bypasses the coverage, I'm probably in pretty big trouble. 100% for 610 protection. And 95% for 12-12. So we've got about... What is that? If we get lucky with the percent rolls, we've got 10, 18. That's uh, 16, 28. And this is all going to be cut, right? So we've got about 40 points of uh, protection against the cut damage from the bullets on our torso. If he doesn't bypass anything. That's a pretty good amount. That's a pretty solid amount. So... I think we have a chance to survive it. Yeah, if he shoots me in the eyes, <laughs> there's nothing I can do. So, we'll see. Either I'm going to get to take two space, two steps, which running speed, I'm gonna guaranteed one space. Yeah, I think we might still make it. I think we might make it. Because running is going to drop, let's see, 75 points, action points available. Running in my current condition is going to put me around 60 to 70. As long as it comes in below 75, I think we'll survive. If it's more than 75, he's going to shoot me right after I take my first step. So. Yeah. I think I'm going to take a quick break. Then we'll come back and find out if we die. <laughs> I got to go uh, go to little uh, little mutant's room. I'll be back in just a few minutes. All right, so, well, we'll find out. We are in run mode. I have nothing else I can do to affect this combat. Um, nothing I can activate. No bionics. We haven't been able to install a single bionic. None of my mica stuff is going to save me indirectly. So it's going to be down to my gear and whatever protection that that mica stuff is affording me. Here we go. We are about to step one space due south in run mode. Let's wait for the brap. <laughs> ah, ha, 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 I knew it. Run speed 50. So I was guaranteed a second action. So we should be two steps away now and he shouldn't be able to shoot me. That's the theory. There we go. We're safe. All right. <laughs> it's good knowing the mechanics and how they work. So if you don't know, let me explain what, what happened here. <laughs> 
I was 75, 80% sure this is what was going to happen. But to explain it, so he and I were adjacent to each other. He only has two night vision, one, two. He now cannot see me and I'm free to move away and then shoot him. So with my speed of 75, the player actions always execute first. So I moved south in run mode. Run mode lets you move twice as fast, so I only had to spend 50 of my action points. So I still had action points remaining. So I then executed a second action, which actually fully proceeds, so I was able to get a second step off because I had remaining points available to me before he was allowed to take an action of his own. So now that I'm more than two spaces away, he can't see me or him to be able to target me right now. So knowing the speed and action point system and what my likely run speed was going to be, I was pretty sure that we were going to be able to outrun that thing and get away from it. So all you got to do is not have light. That's why I shut this door, by the way, because there was light in this room. <laughs> so I made sure my retreat path uh, didn't have light directly in it. Um... So, yeah, we're good now. That's the way that works. Alright, so that's the finale room. Now I'm going to shoot this. The noise is going to draw more of them down, and we're just going to keep shooting. So we'll keep moving. I need to get my goggles on, and I get, need to get my rifle out, and then we can finish these guys off. So let's get around the... Whoops, hello light. That could be a problem. Hmm, should have got that taken care of as well. Let's see. Go to here. Let's try to get the goggles on. That's going to be the most... Well, okay. Apparently I am lit up right now. It's dark, but not very dark. <laughs> so I am in a lit area because I am in the dark after stepping into the corridor here. I've had problems with light in labs previously, and I've griped about it on stream, where... If I was down here in this very dark area, but the sentry bot steps into the lit area, it acts kind of like the shady zombie sight problem, where because it can see, it thinks I'm actually in sight as well, so I can then uh, get shot. So, <laughs> we didn't take all that much damage, but uh, yeah, most of it reflected off. Shot reflected off my head, off my head. Took a little bit of torso damage, so we'll have to run another couple of spaces south and then get this stuff taken care of. Another torso shot. Alright, so... Now the problem is, I'm in the very dark now. He should not theoretically be able to see me, but I think he's going to keep shooting me when he gets into the lit area. So, let's try to get the battle rifle out. Let's activate our goggles. Oh, well, all right. Now if that door to my south is lit, we're going to have a bit of a problem. I think maybe it's time for the grenade. Now nah, I'd have to swap out my rifle again. This is going to be a close one here. Because if I precise shot, they're going to get a lot of action points to move towards me. And with them all bunched up like that, it's going to come down to whether or not that lower door has got a, a light source behind it. Let's see here. Might be a better move to sprint for that door, get through it while I've got extreme range, and hope there's not a turret waiting for me on the other side of that. Because at extreme range, they're not going to be very, um, very accurate. Yeah, I need to answer the... Ah, uh, there's noise down south. That robot's moving pretty quick. Alright, this is going to be a painful one right here. Activate, turn the goggles off. If this is lit, it's going to be bad. Alright, it's not lit, thank god. Alright. Eek. And... Get the goggles back on now. Now that we know that we've got a safe spot, quote-unquote. Alright, we got more corridor we can back down, so that's good. 
Pop that open. Man, these things are just rolling right at me. They shouldn't even know I'm here. I haven't even fired yet. <laughs> I'm not sure what the deal is. They must have changed the behavior on these guys. This is kind of odd because I open the door here. I'm okay with the one standing right next to me coming after me. But I haven't shot anything or made any noise yet. And these guys are just booking straight at me. Yeah, getting shot in the corridor here, I'm okay with, because it wasn't technically very dark, so kind of waffling, but uh, what, because of the light from the corridor back here, the light extended out to here, and it the, the dark range was over top of me versus very dark. I'm okay with the, the getting shot there. I didn't notice, because of that gap again in the, the way the graphics shows the darkness, that I wasn't in very dark still. I thought I was, so I'm okay with getting the shot. That's that's not a big deal. That part's not a bug. This part, though, puzzles me. I'm just trying to figure out their behavior. Why are they rolling down the hallway at max speed? My speed's down to 69. They're actually going to get on top of me and be able to shoot me before I'm going to be able to get away from these guys at this rate. <laughs> I'm going to have to get a door between me and them. But then I'm going to end up having to open the door and be at point-blank range again. So it's their movement behavior I'm more puzzled by, because I haven't made a single noise yet. So I don't know why they're pursuing me like this when they can't see me. They don't have scent. Hmm. Again, I can't afford to open this door right next to me, because that, uh, if it's got light behind it, I'll get tagged again, and the torso is getting a little rough. No, the explosion from the bots is pretty minor. I think I'm going to keep running for the corner. Pretty sure this is going to connect to the other room that I've been in earlier, so I'm going to have to be pretty careful running through here, though, with the, uh, the bots loose. <laughs> but I'm going to keep moving. If I don't get their behavior, they're still booking right towards me. Yep. Well, I'm really hoping there's uh, no light around this next corner. My night vision goggles range isn't quite enough to give me any comfort. <laughs> oh, it's that corner! <laughs> yeah. Uh, Lowe's. <laughs> I don't know if they turned the corner or not yet. <laughs> Talk about rocking a hard place. This is pretty funny. <laughs> Got myself wedged in now. I don't want to open this door because it's probably... Uh, it wouldn't be a turret room, but it's probably uh, it's either a dog pen, dog kennel, or it's uh, another blob room. So, it's step forward, and if they're coming around the corner at me, it's just fire as much as I can and pray I get them before they get close enough to see me. Their movement behavior is still really puzzling me, though. Alright, I think i got to start taking the shots now. So, here's the problem, though. I'm at 69 speed. If I don't one-shot these things every time, I'm going to be in big trouble. That, if I try to do precise, that is, what, almost four rounds of movement for them? The first one I'll probably guarantee kill, but the follow-ups, if they're chasing it pretty close, is going to make it really, really rough. Now, the room south of me has a door to the east as well, so theoretically I could pop the door, and if it wasn't blocked by, like, a stack of blobs, I could get in the room and come out this side, but I don't know how much gain that would get me. Still really not much I can do to alter the uh, situation here. 
I'm thinking of uh, trying to eat some fruit real quick just to get my hunger and thirst down and get my speed back up a little bit. I'm worried about how far that guy is going to advance if I do it, though. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pass around and see if he moves towards me. Didn't move directly towards me. Alright, I ate a fruit and he moved the other direction, so that's good. Let's also activate some codeine. Try to get rid of this pain. Speed is up to 79. I think that's about the max we can get with our elated status. The pain is offsetting the elated, so... Alright, so they're not directly chasing me anymore. That's good. I think I have to start taking the shots. This will be a freebie. It's the follow-ups are going to be dangerous. Ah, and he stepped out of the stepped out of range before the shot went off. Twenty-seven. All right, first one's down. Uh, I really don't want to go around that corner. I want to force them to come to me from right here. Uh oh, dogs. No, this is not good timing, dogs. Ah, giant mole rat! <laughs> I got a triple! Oh my god. <laughs> How screwed can I get? <laughs> well, that I didn't expect. That wasn't on my list of things. <laughs> we may be pulling a Gorman to end this series. <laughs> oh my gosh. So what's going to be hilarious here is I'm going to keep backing to the door and I'm going to let the mole rat take out these three things. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to make a highlight clip out of this last 10 minutes of this session. <laughs> well, there's a chance. There's a chance I can survive this. So the bots are coming down the hall. They're definitely going to fire at this mole rat. So I'm going to back off, try to kill another bot. The mole rat concerns me not the least necessarily, because if he drops the ceiling on me, he's going to trap me, and then the robots will roll up and shoot me to death while I'm stuck under the rubble. <laughs> so, oh my god, a mole rat. <laughs> this is awesome. This is good stuff here. Hmm. <laughs> Um, too bad, rat, too bad uh, Ratty Bag took off. <laughs> you still here, Ratty Bag? Did you take off to the gym already? <laughs> it got exciting. All right. <laughs> oh, I can't believe that a friggin' mole rat comes out of the room. That's hilarious. <laughs> here I thought it was just going to be... Zombie dogs. It wouldn't have been amoebas because they wouldn't have gone after the door. It had to have been uh, zombie dogs or the good old naked mole rat. All right. So, yeah, the plan is just to back up, back towards the, uh, the door, and hope that the mole rat stays alive long enough to let me snipe a couple of these at least. And I think it might. It might actually kill these things. That thing hits hard, and it's got a really high regen rate. Against one, I would put my money on the mole rat. Against three, I'm not real sure what the hell's going to happen here. <laughs> this, is, this is funny. <laughs> uh, good thing I consider the challenge already complete. Because <laughs> this would be annoying otherwise. All right, let's back off. So we're going to run again. I'm going to go northwest. And I need to make sure those guys do fight each other, so I'm just going to put my back in the corner here. I don't think he's dead. I think he burrowed. I think he either stepped back into the room or he burrowed, and he's under the ground. Pretty sure he's not dead. All right, we're going to take the shot draw these guys to me unfortunately oh we're so dead yeah these shots are going to take me so long if that mole rat doesn't pop up right damn now we're, we're pretty much toast so that one's nearly dead the other two are completely fresh I'm going to have to switch to careful shot and just hope that the savings 
Ugh, 50% chance to hit? Youch. Oh, did it die? I didn't see... Oh, it did die. Oh, alright. That went down a lot faster than I thought it would. Hmm. Rubble's not going to help. Popping this door's not going to help. Because there's nowhere to go. It's just going to be a turret sitting right here facing me. If I try to get the grenade out, I have to both get rid of my rifle, get the grenade out. <laughs> yeah, I can't go to the through the door. There's a turret sitting right here. <laughs> it's that turret I saw earlier that's in the assassination location. It's one of those tricky turret spots. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's possible... Uh, let me, let me think on this this design. No. The corridor goes south and connects to another little utility room and then connects over. So, if I stood here... Let's see here. Well, the problem is as soon as I open the door, I'm in the light. I don't think I'm going to get to move two spaces before I'm going to get hit by four different machine guns. <laughs> the turret is right against the corner. So, if I stood here, popped the door, the light's going to open up. I'm going to get one space of movement to here, and then all three of these things are going to shoot me. I don't see a way of me getting through this door still alive. Because as soon as the door opens, light's going to hit me and they're all going to shoot. I'll get... Click, door opens. I'll get to move one space. Well... No, it is, it is possible, actually. Because it'll be the same routine as last time. <sighs> What'll happen here? I'm trying to think through the timing. So I'll use one action to open the door. That's going to be my 50 points. That's going to light me up. Yeah, I'm not going to make it. There's, there's no way I can make it. I'll get one step and then guaranteed all three robots, the sentry bots, are going to shoot me, and I think the turret might still have a line of sight on me. Well, the next shot I take, even at um, careful, is going to advance that northern sentry bot at least two spaces possibly three which will put it within uh, range hmm. the problem with the grenade is I have to drop the rifle get the grenade in my hand activate it and throw it there's like <laughs> four different actions that have to occur before that grenade is gonna hit the ground then it's gonna count down for a round or two before it actually explodes and I'm going to have to try to get it at least three or so spaces away. There's no... I've got zero throwing skill. It's going to land at my feet. I guarantee it's going to land at my feet and I'm going to have nowhere to go. <laughs> so, yeah, it's not as simple as, oh, just throw a grenade. It's drop gun, wield grenade, activate grenade, throw grenade, watch grenade land at feet. <laughs> uh... Uh, no issue with me going full auto. The problem is just the chances to hit. I'm not a crack marksman yet. I've only got like three or four rifleman skill. It does have a burst shot. It does have a burst mode. The guy, the, the I'm not going to shoot the wounded guy. He's got to rumble through rubble. I think he's going to be stuck moving one space. So it's the, the guy north, the one closest to me to the north. That is my target of priority. So that guy right there. So I don't think I'm going to try to go through the door routine. I'm pretty sure what happened, what would happen would be it would be open door. And I don't know how many points it costs to open a door. I would be lit up. I'd move one space. All three of these guys would get to shoot me or at least a minimum of those two. And I'm not convinced the turret wouldn't also have a line of sight on that space. So I think that's death. I don't think I can get around that corner fast enough. It's close. I could just about make that corner, I think, but not with the current geometry. So... I 
I think the burst fire is probably the best option. I think switching to burst mode, taking a shot at that guy. The possibility, I don't know the range on the explosion. I don't know if it's one space around them. I think the explosion is one space around them. So by the time the burst fires, they may be adjacent. And it, him blowing up might be enough to take that one out. And then a second burst might finish that before he gets to me. Oh, he's severely injured as well. Alright, so yeah, burst fire I think definitely is the highest percentile choice to take in this particular setup. Yeah, grenades don't bounce. <laughs> grenades will just hit the ground right next to me. and I mean, I've already taken one self-inflicted grenade wound today. <laughs> and I could probably take it. The damage to me probably wouldn't be excessive. As long as it wasn't right literally under my feet. If it was even just a space or two away, I could probably survive it, even with that damage. But I don't think it would do enough to them either. That one would probably die. That one maybe, but he's farther away. So, yeah, I think we're going to have to go full burst mode. So, we're switching to full auto. You can see that right here. We're now in full auto. We check our inventory for the battle rifle. It's a 10, sh 10 round burst. Full auto is 10 rounds. <clears throat> We're going to try to put 10 rounds into that guy and pray he blows up. And by the time the shot goes off, they're going to have moved. I'm going to hope these two are adjacent to each other and the explosion takes them both. And then that I'll have just enough time to get one more burst off to finish that guy. That's the plan. And of course, when that's all done, it'll be second mole rat shows up, followed by a string of bio operators coming pouring around the corridor. <laughs> so, fire. That is who I want to fire at. Now I have to make the, the other hard choice. Which choice? I think I'm going to go with the full precise aim on this one. It's 20... What is that? 30? No, 29 points. Action points more. But for that 29 points, I gain like 40% chance to hit. No, even more than that. It's 50% base with a 38 plus 12, meaning these numbers here is what I'm looking at. So I'm looking at this information. So if I do have a, a careful aim, it's going to cost 276 action points. At 83, that's 8, 16, 24. Oh, crap. That's like four rounds. Yeah, I think he's going to get close enough to shoot me before I get the precise shot off. Or if I... I think he'll get to me even before I get the careful one off. Let's see, I'll get 83 before he moves. He'll move to here for the second 80. So, 8, 16, 24. When he hits this spot, he'll be able to shoot me. Oh, this is going to be so close. This is going to be so close. Plus, they're going to close the range while I'm aiming, so my chances are actually higher than what you see here. Uh, I think I... Uh, that 29 points might actually be super critical. Well, like I said, the, the trouble is, I don't know where it calculates the percent chance to hit. If it calculates it at the time the the F key is pressed, <laughs> or the time that the shot actually occurs after the 276 points go by, because he's going to advance two or three spaces in the time that the aiming is occurring. So I'm not sure exactly in the mechanics where the math occurs for uh, the percent to hit with the burst fire. And it's going to make a pretty big difference. Because if he's going to advance two or three spaces, I'll take a, a careful shot. Uh, I could just spray and pray for 105. I've got 80 rounds. If I spray and pray, the bullets can go just about anywhere. A stray one might hit the guy to the south and blow him up. Only one round will go by. Hmm. Yeah, I could manual aim. Manual aim would probably be the sensible thing to do.
Yeah, let's manual aim and see what our numbers look like as they advance. All right, I'm going to start tapping the 5 key to manual aim. It's just going to pass time as I steady my aim, and these numbers will change as they advance towards me. I need to get the shot off before he hits this space right here. And I'm praying if these two ever end up adjacent, I'm probably just going to immediately take the shot. I just think him trying to move here is going to be so slow, this guy might advance too far. I'm hoping to take the shot here blow both of these up and then have one more burst fire chance in me to take the sec the, the last guy out all right so we are in burst fire mode yes we are we're gonna just tap the five key here we go tap once tap twice tap three times it hasn't advanced yet Five, six, seven, eight. All right, so he moved forward one. The guy to the south has not moved yet. There's a slim chance. No, I already shot once. They know I'm here. I'm trying to figure out if they might roll back the other direction. What are we up to now? We are at 48 and 15. These are the numbers I'm really looking at hard. Kind of this section here. With well, the burst fire, yeah, we haven't paid the price for all of this yet, so we're only at 84%. can only look forward to let them get one space closer. 93%. Did that last guy back up the other direction? I think he did. Wow, would it be glorious if this guy close to me backed up <laughs> instead of coming towards me. We're at 98% aiming. Alright, we hit 100%. So we're pretty much guaranteed a burst fire shot on this guy. I think with that other guy backing up, we might pull this off. Let's find out. We're going to take the shot right here. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I killed the two I wasn't aiming at. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Uh... <laughs> the one uninjured guy is the one that's still up. <laughs> and when he steps forward a single space, he's gonna fire. So I have to time my next burst based on guessing when he's going to step forward again. <laughs> oh, man. We're down to one space of safety. As soon as he steps forward, he'll spot me and be able to shoot me. Oh, my God. And, of course, it's the one that's uninjured. Did, did I hit anything on him? I got three different hits. Did one of them land? Oh, it's nearly dead. Spray and pray. Instant spray and pray. I didn't realize I got a hit on him. One of the one of the big hits must have got him. Oh, we might get out of this. We might get out of this. Fire. 6%. <laughs> My game comes down to... I either press the enter key right now to just blindly spray bullets down the hallway and hope one connects at low percent chance or pass time and pray he doesn't step forward one and start shooting. 105 points. Yeah, it all comes down to just whether I press enter or not. I only need one tiny little bullet to nick him. That's all I need. Ugh. <laughs> just press it just do it <laughs> oh man I think I have to I can't take the chance that while I'm trying to aim even one time that he's going to step forward I'm almost tempted to, to run forward and try to 
try to hit him, but uh, I don't have enough speed. So, it, all right, that wasn't the effect that I was expecting there. Apparently I hit the wrong key somehow. <laughs> so we missed completely. He didn't advance. Not sure what the hell happened there. So if we switch to semi-auto... Yeah, it doesn't change the, the numbers there. I'm a little fuzzy on the math behind the burst firing, but uh, trying to fire without doing any kind of aiming is never a good thing at low skill levels. So we're still screwed in that regard. I think we still have to rely on the burst. Yeah, the aim's going to be garbage, no matter what. <clears throat> I think I have to take the 105 point just random burst and hope we, we nick him. Alright, here we go. <laughs> uh, whoa! Where, what? What? Excuse me? Aren't you supposed to be dead? <laughs> Apparently that guy didn't die? That's not cool. <laughs> I thought he died earlier. Apparently he just stepped south and I couldn't see him anymore. Alright, this one we've got some opportunity to aim at least. So let's switch back to uh, manual mode. Alright, so semi-auto mode, fire. This one we're going to aim. He's got to roll through some rubble. We'll get at least, uh, we'll get a pretty good aim on this guy. I'd actually like him out of the doorway. I think I'm going to shoot the door, the edge of the door instead of him. I was also waiting for them to shoot and uh, blow the door open behind me with their bullets. <laughs> and then have that turret finish me off when I was lit up. Oh, perfect. He stepped out. We've got 100% steadiness. Supposedly we have a guaranteed hit. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. That was some fun stuff.